So I've been a long time user of the AirPods. I actually got this day one when it was released. And back then, this was really a revolution in tech because, you know, uh, TWS that really worked. And I think it changed, it paved the way for new TWS to come now in 2020. However, my main issue with the AirPods is it's not up to snuff in terms of the sound quality. Now enter the AirPods 2. This was recently released um, end of 2019. And I think they upped the game here a lot with the AirPods 2. And now for me, this is something that I want to listen to more than the AirPods. So first, let's take a look at the build first. So build-wise, it's actually pretty similar compared to the AirPods 1, but of course it has a different form factor. So it's actually a little bit bigger compared to the AirPods 1. So you have a kind of a wider opening with the AirPods 2. Overall, in terms of the build quality, they're very similar. Both are solid kits. It's made of plastic and glossy plastic at that, uh, but both really feel solid. It doesn't feel cheap at all. So you do have still some magnet opening. You do have also a pairing button. And also at the back, you do have still that chrome kind of lining, uh, but actually the previous chrome lining is more glossy compared to the airpods 2. you do still get of course the lightning connector at the bottom moving to the unit itself it's more short compared to the airpods 1. of course the main difference here is you do have an in-ear kind of design of course you do get still that airpods as kind of silhouette you know that um, toothbrush kind of design but definitely it's shorter actually a lot shorter compared to the previous airpods actually even if you know it doesn't you know look as uh, cohesive compared to the AirPods 1. The major advantage with the AirPods 2 is because of this, you know, kind of improved, uh, changed design. This feels really, really stable on the ear. So this, uh, you know, 200, 300% more stable compared to the AirPods 1. Actually for me, I, I did have the AirPods 1 fall off my ear from, you know, time to time. Um, so I did actually buy some fins accessory with the AirPods 1 um, just to make it more stable. Now with the AirPods 2, this is a lot, lot, lot more stable because they made the shape bigger and this um, fits in the lobe really nicely. And of course, with that in-ear kind of design, it now holds in place on your ear. So actually for me, this is something that you can use for some running already, which is very, very nice. So for me, um, four to five hours in my actual usage in terms of battery life per lobe and around 20 hours of charging, um, uh, actually one week of charging with the um, battery case. And also for looks, it's an iconic kind of look. Definitely for me, I do like the overall look in the AirPods too because you do have that Apple-esque, um, you know, iconic uh, kind of design. Of course, one major advantage of these over the AirPods 1 is this has um, noise cancellation. So in iOS, you do get um, several settings. You do get an off setting for the noise cancellation. You do get transparent settings so you can still hear your environment. And you do have that kind of full noise cancellation. So the full noise cancellation is something that you want to use when you're on a plane, when you want utmost isolation. But of course, this is an active noise cancellation. You're going to feel a suction on your ear, but it's not that bad here. Um, this feels similar compared to my Beats Studios, um, so in terms of the overall noise cancellation technology. So it's not super suffocating on the ear. Transparency mode is actually pretty cool also. I actually have the transparency on 60% or 70% of the time because I can walk, uh, I can run, and I can still hear my environment nicely. I'm still hearing my audio nicely, so when I'm talking to somebody, I can just you know turn the transparency on really quickly. I don't need to remove um, my AirPods. Of course, you have the off option also, and you have you know passive noise isolation. I don't usually use that. I'm more of the transparency and full noise cancellation. Another main advantage of these is these are really small um, kit for a noise cancellation. So I do have the QC35. It's what I always use on a plane. But of course, those are bigger. They're really really nice, but you know they're a lot bigger compared to these. So these are really really versatile you have a kit already that you can use for a plane and that it's really really small and you can also use it for casual um, listening and you can also use it for running so much like the qc35 you can't use it for running because it's not really designed for that so this one is really really versatile in that sense you're getting a lot for your money and also of course being an airpods um this pairs really really nicely with ios this is still the best pairing experience also, uh, AirPods 1, even if I didn't, you know, really like the sound overall, it's still something that I have always on my bag because it's just super duper convenient. It's very, very easy to use. Um, so pairing is still top notch with any AirPods. Um, so convenience wise, actually, um, these are the most top notch um, earphones, TWS that you can get because it's really easy to pair. The easiest pairing experience of the W1 chip in these are really work well for convenience. For me, in terms of the sound, it's a lot, lot better compared to the AirPods 
one um, especially with that in-ear kind of design of course the bass response is a lot better i find in the airpods one being an open kind of design bass response is not that good the sound is a bit thin for me data retrieval is actually fairly okay here because of that kind of thin kind of sound and also a bit lacking in the bass region actually too bright uh, in the airpods one for me i didn't really listen to this for you know um real listening so i do have other earphones for that but now with the airpods 2 this is something i can still use for some real listening that is really impressive for me so it's clean in presentation uh, but still lively sounding that's um air and also has a slight warmth but it's still in the clean side of things so across the range is fairly well bodied and not as thin sounding compared to the airpods one but i would say there's still a touch thin than what i would like this will be better if it's just a touch um more uh, thick in terms of the overall presentation like in summer song satriani um the guitars there the overdriven guitars is uh you know just ever so slightly thin for me i would like to have more weight um especially in rock um kind of music so it's nice uh, but uh, it can be improved still so it has a slight u shape fairly balanced but done in a way that it sounds fun and dynamic so definitely this is an exciting um kind of listen so like in your body is a wonderland john's vocals there is forward in the mix um bass is not too forward and also i can hear the instruments um very nicely so the vocal region is not that recessed in the mix actually fairly forward in the mix so the bass is in the tight side um, definitely present so the bass here is more prominent compared to the airpods one um, so this reminds me actually of a ba you know kind of bass this has a little bit more punch and boom compared to your ba bass so this is not super duper tight it has a slight boom to it uh, so definitely this is not for bass sets it's not your boomy thumping um, kind of bass so based on these reminds me of the 10t3 in a way in the chai fi world in terms of the overall tightness or maybe even planar uh, bass in the headphone world. So this slightly more punchy than the T3. So definitely yes, um, you know, bass response a lot, lot more substantial compared to the AirPods 1 and also a little bit more boomy. So more fun bass with the AirPods 2. Um, also surprising how good the mids here is. So the vocal region has good body, rich. Um, so like in Bon Jovi, um, It's My Life. The vocals have some raspiness to it, have some micro detail even, and also center in the mix. So the U-shaped sound um, definitely uh, pushes the vocals a little bit forward in the mix. So this won't equal, you know, multi-BA setups, but definitely detail-wise is fairly good. Definitely better compared to the AirPods one. However, the mids here is slightly veiled than what I would like. It's not super duper veiled, but it's just slightly veiled. But that um, kind of makes the sound at the mids less fatiguing to listen to and also less shouty vocals at that. So this is something that you can listen to for a long listening session in terms of the mids. So I do like the mids here overall. This is one of, I would say, the strength of the AirPods Pro. Highs are actually not super extended in these. So compared to the AirPods one, actually the AirPods one is brighter in comparison to the AirPods Pro. Um, so these are a bit toned down which is something I like because uh, sometimes I find the highs in the AirPods want to be too bright for me. Um, so this is less bright compared to the previous AirPods but that makes a not a sibilant lesson. So this is less sibilant for me compared to the AirPods one. So frankly in the mix, um, the mids are a bit thicker uh, in presentation. Uh, so more forward vocals in comparison to the highs. So the highs are a bit more toned down here. So I would say this is not the strength of the AirPods. Pro. So there's a fair amount of detail also and actually some micro detail which is impressive. Definitely more detail compared to the AirPods 1. But this is not near monitoring level but uh, definitely um, substantial detail at that. Tonalities and the natural side but uh, it adds a touch of um, fun in the color of the sound. So like in that's what I like. The cymbals are more energetic, uh, more shimmery than usual. So this again makes it a more fun kind of listen. So separation and stage is actually very good. This is also one of the strength of the AirPods 2 um, more than the AirPods 1. The separation here is a lot better. So surprisingly is what hit me most on this. Instrument separation with that clean uh, presentation is great. And stage is also fairly big. But this has more height than depth. Um, the in-ear kind of design on this worked um, well in the stage and separation. So for acoustic pop, jazz music, I like this one a lot. Um, for rock, as I mentioned, uh, this is a bit thin for me. Also hip-hop, uh, the bass is not uh, that boomy for hip-hop and also electronica. So that is a bit lacking for me. Alright, so for, for the AirPods Pro, I was actually surprised on how they upped their game in the you know, sound department. 
Um, so I didn't expect that you know big of a leap compared to the AirPods One. This already something that I can listen to personally, even for a casual listen. So for three hundred dollars, of course that will be up to you if that's worth it for you or not. This is in the expensive side. If this is two hundred dollars. This will be an easy recommendation. But of course for three hundred, of course that will be you know kind of up to you if that you know features are worth it for you or not. So for AirPods One, actually um this is hard for me to recommend. I actually didn't review this for the AirPods too. This now something that I will recommend even for you know audiophiles and the audio enthusiasts. So I would recommend this. Right, so that is my review of the AirPods 2. So actually this is not mine. So unfortunately I need to return it. Uh, so I don't have AirPods 2 yet but I do want to get one um, to exchange for my AirPods 1. Uh, because I do super like this one. They did a lot of things right in this. You know apart from the look, um, the other things are really right with the AirPods 2. So do you have an AirPods 2? What do you think of them? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, and did you get an AirPods in your life? And are you an audio enthusiast who has an AirPod? What do you think of them? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you learned something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.